biologists, physicists, researchers and many other brilliant people have studied the effects of EMFs on health. All these people have studied these effects from their, the standpoint of their own particular discipline. I have no formal training in this subject, but what I do have is something more concrete. That's to say my body's reaction to these EMF exposures. I didn't need a study to tell me EMFs were detrimental to my health. My body was telling me this. In fact, sometimes it was shouting at me. So initially, these studies didn't particularly interest me because they only told me what I already knew. Not only did they not interest me, reading studies which told me that EMFs were detrimental to my health took me further into this downward spiral of, of hopelessness and despair which I knew I needed to get out of. I knew that I needed to break this pattern, to change this mindset and to believe that there was a solution. What I wanted to know was how to deal with these EMFs. I realized that in order to minimize my EMF exposures, I needed to better understand what EMFs were and how they interacted with the human body. But I also realized that science could only give me a limited understanding of all this. As Dr. Robert Becker, Nobel Prize nominee and pioneering research author of this book, this brilliant book, uh, says, quote, it would appear that we know everything about EMFs, but we don't, unquote. So the science should be bringing us towards a greater understanding of the subject, but it, instead it seems that the more studies are published on this topic, the more confusing it gets. And so it seemed for a time that I was at a dead end. It seemed as though the, the studies these studies couldn't help me. And so I came out of this dead end. The way I moved forward was by listening to my body. And it came from learning from others who had overcome chronic illness. This listening, this tuning in, brought me closer to what was underlying my symptoms of electrical sensitivity. Because as much as I knew I was right when I had identified toxic, toxin overload as the cause of my electrical sensitivity, I also knew that there was something more fundamental behind what I was experiencing. Something science kept touching on, but was unable to fully explain. And because science could not bring, bring irrefutable proof about this thing, it preferred to say it didn't exist, when clearly it did. For over 4,000 years, this thing has been the underlying principle behind traditional Chinese medicine and other ancient teachings. The Chinese call it qi and traditional Indian medicine calls it 
prana, the more modern term or a more modern term is energy or subtle energy. A practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine or traditional Indian medicine is not concerned with disease and illness per se. They are concerned with your energies and your energetic balance. These ancient disciplines seek to identify and heal these energetic dysfunctionments. The first step is balance. The next step, the goal, is harmony. So dealing with the causes of electrical sensitivity, dealing with these environmental, nutritional, emotional and mental toxins are the means by which balance and harmony can be achieved. And this is the bigger idea I was referring to in my last video. Does this mean that dealing with electromagnetic fields is not important? No, it's very important. We know that EMF exposures are triggering this energetic dysfunctionment. Therefore, dealing with EMFs must be at the very top of your list of priorities. But you need also to deal with the multitude of environmental, nutritional, emotional and mental toxins which are contributing to this energetic dysfunctionment and causing your electrical sensitivity. And this is the paradigm shift which is necessary. You need to realize that essentially you are an energetic being and that ultimately everything impacts your body on an energetic level. I'll say that again. You need to realize that essentially you are an energetic being and that ultimately everything, everything impacts your body on an energetic level. That's to say, everything you eat, everything you drink, every exercise you do, every, every thought you think, and every feeling you feel. So the toxins you expose yourself, yourself to negatively impact your energies. So in someone who is in a good state of health, there may be no perceived effect. But in someone whose state of health is diminished, these exposures eventually manifest themselves as disease and illness. So the way to beat electrical sensitivity is to minimize and where possible eliminate these toxins. Because the toxins are the cause of the energetic dysfunctionments which underlie your symptoms of electrical sensitivity. By putting in time and effort into reducing and or eliminating these toxins you will eventually beat your electrical sensitivity. I have written a book recounting how I did this. It's called Beating Electrical Sensitivity The Path to Tread. It builds on everything I have spoken about over the course of the last few videos. It deals with what can be termed a solution. It's what worked for me and I believe it can work for you. If you'd like to learn more about my book then you can click on the link below. 
My name is Lloyd from electricsense.com. Thank you for your time.